Jimenez has been dancing for only a year and a half. I was too embarrassed because I didn't have any rhythm. Mohamed Abdullah is a business law professor. By day, by night, he hits the dance floor. Uh. Dozens of Latin-style dancers came out to the Moorhead Tavern in Uptown Charlotte for a chance of fame on the silver screen. That is something good for our resume now. Wendy and her husband, Rodrigo, perform all over North Carolina, and they have their own studio in Charlotte's University area. They received an email about a documentary being filmed in the Tar Heel State, and they jumped at the chance to be a part of it. They met with the executive executive producer in Asheville and invited him to film the salsa scene in Charlotte. They would never think there's a salsa culture here. But dancing in the South is a little different than up North and that's what the film is all about. I wanted to show how Latin music and Latin dance does not just exist in New York. The film, entitled La Epoca, documents the origin of mambo and salsa and its influence around the world. Joseph, the son of bass legend Alfonso El Panameño, got the idea for the film after the death of the original mambo king, Tito Puente. He says he was leafing through his father's phone book and realized a story needed to be told. I have access to all of these uh, legends, and if I don't do it, nobody else will. Filming took him to Spain, South Korea, and Japan. Dancers say the popularity of television shows about dancing have increased people's interest in the salsa and its history. And we all have something in common, which is the music. Lisa Reyes, News 14, Carolina.